Cable mod, power cord, power supply, direct replacement kits are now available for Cooler Master V-Series power supplies. Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another rush kit video for you. And today we're going to be taking a look at the EK Varda 2200 RPM fans. Now they've just released them in a uh, white version. Now if you didn't already know, I am a bit of a white freak. So when I first saw them, I was like... I don't know, I don't think I've got time. I saw the white ones, it just made my mind up. I was willing to spend a few hours taking a look and giving them a run over. Now they do look very similar to the old Scythe Gentle Typhoon fans, but um, EK do tell me that they're not like a rebrand or anything like that. These have been designed from the ground up to be a great heat sink and radiator fans. Now the problem was when you look at the back and you've got the specs around here, uh, the max airflow, it's not in CFM. Static pressure, it's not in the MMH2O that we're kind of used to. So the, the stats on the back, for me, without going over to them and asking them what all that stuff kind of means or how to um, convert it, didn't really mean a lot. So to me, I didn't think it was going to mean a lot to you guys either. So we've got a 120mm fan. Um, did we have a CFM? No, there was no CFM on there. There's only a DBA reading on the back which is 33.5 dba that's going to be at uh, max speed at 200 uh, 2200 rpm the good thing is is they are um pwm as well which means we can do a lot of uh, minimum and maximum uh, rpms and all that kind of stuff so um i thought i would give them a test so i thought the easiest thing for me to do considering the gpu rig and the motherboard test rig and my big test rigs at the moment and i don't do a general lot of uh, normal heat sink testing around and about anymore either so i thought i would test them on the h100i gtx and i would put them head to head with the stock corsair fans the good thing about the fact that they are a pwm as well it means i can run them <coughs> excuse me means I can run them at the same RPMs and we can test them quite literally head to head rather than just full speed, full speed or lowest speed, lowest speed. We did 1300 RPM versus 1300 RPM. And as you can see when they spin up, they do actually look really quite nice. The uh, All the dots in between do kind of line up and give it another secondary ring in the middle of the fans. Uh, and also now you can hear that everything's calmed down now the rig's on and you can see that it's all kind of chilled right out they are really quite quiet as well this is running um at about 900 rpm and they go up to 2200 rpm as um, i've already said the results that we got as you can see here we've got three results and you can see down the bottom now we've got the ambient temperature which is the temperature of the room we tested at then you've got the uh, average cpu core which is the big white bar and the red one is the delta temperature and what you do with the delta temperature is you take the uh, ambient temperature away from the average cpu core temp and then you get your delta we're using a 4960x 4.4 gigahertz 1.4 volts so when you can see at the top we've got the 1300 rpm result and the bottom two are the 2200 rpm uh, results and what you can see just by changing the fans is that uh, by the with the EK Vardas they're 3.3 degrees cooler at 1300 rpm so at the lower rpm scale they are uh, much more efficient than the Corsair ones when you go up to 2200 rpm it falls down to a two degree difference but considering these are slightly quieter than the Corsairs um, uh, and the fact that instantly in exactly the same settings is taking uh, two or up to three degrees off of your uh, load temperatures, that's a big chunk to take away. And that was also when we were running the uh, pump speed on the H100i GTX at, uh, it was at the quiet mode as well. So it's about um, 1800 RPM rather than, I think it goes up to 2800 RPM when you've got it on max chat. So it was all set up to be really quiet. So we can say that at lower RPMs, they're much uh, more efficient than the standard Corsair fans. If you're wondering about price, they come in at about £12 each and you can get them in the black model. And now you can get them in this, what I personally think is the incredibly sexy white model. And we would give these the OC 3D Gold Award uh, for performance because they absolutely, they are, they are pretty damn good. They're not too high overpriced for a uh, dedicated static pressure fan. And as you can see, the, uh, the performance increase that you get just from swapping those over is pretty apparent. So for now at least, this is Tiny Tom Logan with another Rush Kit video review for you, out.
Cable mod, power cord, power supply, direct replacement kits are now available for Cooler Master V-Series power supplies.